right in the area where they could be. So that's where the 50 feet came from, the average between the two points. Well, we're talking setbacks from the yeah, other setbacks. we're not talking elevation. So no, no, no elevation, we're talking about the, uh, the setback from the, from the, we got no higher marks. You put a thin more in the lake compared with the properties like a bay. In that case, it's 50 feet. Maximum can be. Okay, you're talking about shore protection. Shore protection, yes. Okay, that's regulated by the Wisconsin DNR as to how much land that can be reclaimed as part of shore protection project. And again, we follow what the state requires with respect to how much land can be stored or reclaimed and filled in in order to restore that lot back for buildability. So if you have a question with respect to that, then we can follow through. There's a particular lot that you have a, uh, an issue about. Yeah. But again, we follow the state DNR regulations, and they have to get state chapter 30 permits before they can fill yeah. lots for building. Okay, we have a motion and a second, and an ordinance we can have for the discussion. Hearing none, those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? So carried. That brings us to item F, and that is to consider the award of contract to purchase tunnel learning pagers for the fire and rescue department. Mr. President, in the operating and capital budget for this year, the board authorized replacement of the uh, pagers for the fire department. Uh, sealed bids were received on February 1st, 2008. Um, in the fire department, three bids were received. Uh, the low bid was submitted by Milwaukee Two Bay of West Allis, uh, Wisconsin, uh, in the amount of $28,446.27. Uh, the next little bid was uh, General Communications, and now we fall to $28,763. Uh, we've been a business with Milwaukee Two Way before, so a recommendation for a contract to Milwaukee Two Way not to exceed $28,446.27. The amount budgeted for this. Uh, Purchase was $35,255. What was the budget amount to be? I'm sorry, I missed that. I was thinking about 50 foot drop in there. It was uh, $35,255. Oh, that's good. So long ago. I'll move for approval. Second. Motion by Monica, second by Steve. Any further discussion? Are these replaced every. Five years? When are these replaced because of five-year warranty? Sorry, Doug Mackerman, Assistant Chief, plus the Yeah, uh, We've replaced the features in groups over the years. We have some features that are well over 10 years old. And actually, some of them we're replacing are uh, even beyond where we can routinely get parts. We first use features, we have uh, casual parts. So these should last us for quite some time. At least the five years, obviously. Are the 55 pagers replacing all the pagers? Yes. At this point, we, would, we would get rid of all our existing pagers and replace them with this. Thank you. Just a question of interest of why we go with more mm -hmm. carrying cases. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It kind of, it's a wear item. It's yeah. just an analog. So you just have no elbow. Exactly. Yeah. Your price made a good price now. Very good, very good price. Yes. We had a motion and a second for this. Did you move? Second. second. Motion, second. Those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? So carried. Item G is then considered the award of contracting for engineering services for design of the Barnes Creek Bridge located at, in the 9800 Block of Lake Shore Drive. Uh, Mr. President, uh, this project was again uh, under the Belgium's Capital Improvement Program. It involves a replacement of the Barnes Creek Bridge on Lakeshore Drive. Uh, we sent out RFP um, to four engineering, I'm sorry, three engineering firms, Tony Ford, <coughs> Clark Peets, and Crystal Snyder. Um, the superintendent of uh, Public Works, uh, the village engineer, and his assistant uh, interviewed uh, the uh, respondents. Uh, the low proposal was submitted by Bonus Road in the amount of 29000 970 dollars. Uh, this task recommendation, based upon the, the uh, interviews and, and evaluating the competency and the, the experience of the personnel involved, indicated that Bonestro would be the most successful person <coughs> for preparing the project to uh, get it out to bid. So, it's my recommendation in that of uh, the streets are intended to be a work contract to Bonestro 
you know, uh, twenty nine thousand nine hundred and seventy dollars for this project. Uh, we, had, we had a separate breakout, I believe. Uh, the budget that we were well within where we need to be as engineers considered as part of the total cost for the bridge. Mike, why is the difference of one hundred and ninety two hours from Crystal Snyder to? Um, I think they were going to do some more thorough, uh, more thorough, but more extensive research along the, uh, the stream bank, Long Creek. Uh, we feel that that's been done. Uh, is, is, uh, my understanding on it. Uh, Bunch was a one of the reasons we went with them. Is one of the people on their uh, their staff is has uh, done extensive uh, prefab. This isn't going to be a you know stick foot bridge. We're going to haul in sections of this bridge. And one of their their uh, staff members is experienced in that, so we just felt it was going to be a, there was not that much more to be gained to have a Especially with bone truck with somebody that, that has some direct experience, significant direct experience in pre that construction. Is that the length of the project as well, like 276 dollars? What, what's, what's that bridge going to take uh, to be? In total dollars? Oh, no, uh, in time. How long is it going to be? Um, Mike, do you remember? Mike Spence, village engineer. Um, the estimated time uh, work, we want to get the bridge designed so it'll be constructed prior to uh, the school year, the end of, or beginning of the school year at the end of August. So the uh, actual design will be within the next two months with bidding after that. Mike, do you remember what you know, one of these are going to be doing is, is getting a, a letter out to everybody in Carroll Beach because there's going to be a period where that there is a, you're not going to be able to go from one end of Carroll Beach to the other. Do you remember what the date indicated about the construction would be? Uh, the, uh, the construction time is, is about, um, overall about, I think about a month and a half, but um, one of the things that we're going to work on is minimize the amount of time that it's going to be closed. Um, the other thing that the contract includes is uh, public involvement, and we will be holding a public involvement meeting uh, with uh, any concerned uh, residents in the area uh, to, uh, you know, discuss alternate routes and the time when the bridge is out of service. I move to the uh, motion. Second. Motion by Mike, second by Clyde for the discussion. Mike, Mike, Staples. Comments, questions for me? Okay, thank you. He's going to do next time. Oh, that's why you say <laughs> Motion to approve. Those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? So carried. That brings us to item H, consider the engineering services agreement with Crystal Sander Inc. It's great regarding the county highway queue and pool in the west of I-94. Um, I'm going to try this project again. This project here is part of the uh, incremental district and the work that's being uh, done out there, and so um, I prepared an evaluation of the contract for, for Crystal on this, Mike one. Sure, sure. Um, as uh, Mike said, this is part of the uh, uh, TID uh, improvements uh, west, west of the interstate, and it's also part of our uh, uh, projects related to the development out in that area, uh, specifically uh, U-Line. Um, this project will uh, include or include the uh, expansion of a queue to four lanes. Uh, we would be expanding the city's water system to the western village limits. Um, and these improvements would be designed and constructed and by uh, September of this year, which is what um, had been indicated to the line uh, development people. Uh, we uh, what with Chris, we are proposing